All right, welcome to River City Plus. It's the show after the show, and I'm hanging out with my man, Brandon Floyd from Level Up Fitness. We had him on the show earlier, and we actually sprinted through some exercises like what they do at Level Up Fitness, but here we decided, let's take a little pause, a little relaxation, and do a deep conversation. So, man, thanks for spending some extra time with us. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's always good to be here and spend time with you guys. You guys do such a great job on the show, by the way. Uh, keep all of that in there. So, uh, we were talking on the show, people know Level Up Fitness. Uh, originally, and I, how I came to know you, performance. And it was kind of for everybody. And then you guys uh, evolved and started including like uh, young athletes and stuff like that. And you've evolved even more to include older people, seasoned age, we'll go with that. Jeez. But <laughs> but let's go talk about it, level up from nuts and bolts ground up. So you guys started when? Well, we started about five and a half, six years ago. Um, the business plan has always been in play to do what we're doing now. Um, just from opening that business, we just wanted to take things in baby steps. Uh, anytime you run a small business, um, your your stages of development are quite sensitive. So therefore, with that and considering the fact that we are servicing people, we didn't want to over-service and try to accommodate too many fields all at once. So now you guys aren't getting the, atten the attention that you deserve because, you know, we're spreading ourselves too thin. That's a, a actually a really good point to for anybody entrepreneurs or local startup businesses like create your business plan and keep it simple well simplicity simple but good uh you know um you want to when i say keep it simple that's kind of a double negative per se but keep it simple and make making sure that you are perfecting the simple things first what about that i like, I like that. that and that's how you work out too that. right yes. you're perfecting yes. movements yes. and sure. stuff like that sure. so but basically you didn't want to overshoot your shot yeah yeah i don't want to overshoot my shot um i'm very my partner and i were very picky uh we wanted to make sure that the base of our company which is body transformation we wanted to make sure it's done at a very high level um no matter how long it took to get it to an extended level of performance uh, from a company standpoint so if you go into the gym and they do a consultation i mean they put you through they they pinch you and poke you and measure you in ways that might make you uh, feel a little uncomfortable, but that's the only way to finally get the best results. Well, yes and no, right? Uh, and that is so funny that you say that. Because <laughs> when you think about fitness, you know, you think about the pinch, the skull, the grab. However, at Level Up Fitness, we're really big on scientific measures. So we use things such as a Fit 3D body scan. So literally, you get on the scan. It takes about three and a half, uh, three and a half minutes, uh, five to seven minute total process, and we're getting all your analytics. Uh, from body fat percentage, the BMI, the postural analysis, <laughs> the way you stand, are you imbalanced on right versus left side of your body, and then the fun part starts, and that's where we bring you on the floor, and you're probably thinking about that balance assessment mm -hmm. to where it becomes hands-on. We're checking your unilateral movements, we're checking your balance, we're checking your stability versus your mobility, and we're doing pictures front, back, and sides. Yeah, I'm good on that right there, <laughs> but that's only another way, the only really best way to gauge the results and your workouts they're catered to the individual but and I know you do group sessions but it's not you're not going in and throwing up plates and uh, you guys are hitting we're, we're yes I didn't mean to interrupt you right but we are functional mm -hmm. um, and in that group setting you're in that group setting but we're still customizing each person's workout uh, oh see just keeping levels keeping levels now let's talk about our people of a seasoned age like i said i've known you for a while and i know what you guys have been doing in the gym but now i see these videos of you dropping into people's houses and showing them different ways that they can stay motivated and stay uh fit even at a seasoned age yeah 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 that's one of the things i enjoy doing just as a health professional as one of my hobbies i really enjoy uh, going to people's houses on my off days uh, and really helping people. Um, one of the biggest things that we find as uh, humans is time, right? Time management. And there's some of us that can't get away from our house during the day long enough to make that 20 to 30 minute drive to the gym and back, you know, back home and, you know, do all your other things. Uh, but one thing that I like about the home training is that I've developed styles and movements and functional movements based upon uh, legs that are off my initial body transformation program mm -hmm. to still help you get in shape without having to overload your house with all this equipment and things of that nature. 
Um, there's a thousand ways to skin the cat, uh, obviously. <laughs> but if you got the right right coach, we definitely he'll definitely help make it happen for you. Hey, so oh, so you do this for everybody. It's not just people people of a seasoned age. Like correct. you'll go to the house. Correct. Oh, okay. Correct. Well, yeah, yeah, correct. And now you know, and you just happen to see the people of seasoned age because those are one of the things that that's that those those people are the reason why I really enjoy it mm. because getting those guys to be mobile, uh, getting those guys to be functional, giving adding that longevity on your life is so impeccable yeah. because after a certain age, you're kind of living to play with your grandkids. Mm, yeah. Yeah. You know, you're living to get up to tie your shoe, go to the store and do everyday tasks without feeling out of breath or not being able to get up the next day. So. All right. So, Having said all of that, can you show, we did a few exercises, but can you show us some exercises here people might be able to incorporate, and then that might be the thing that's they're like, if I can do this, then I can take it to another level and level right, up. Right, right. We're just going to we'll show just some simple, base, base simple. Base. All right, let's get it. Kind of piggyback off what we did earlier. All right. All right. All right, so now, uh, all right, I'm kind of going back to. I'll be the model. Yeah. All right, Rance, you're the model. First thing I want you to do, I want you to face me. All right, put your hand on your hip. I want you to take this foot, bring it back here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to target the opposite glute on his body. And this is very important because especially for the older people, our glutes uh, and things of that nature are one of the things that are very important to helping us create that or, or keep more so balance. So what you're going to do, you then can place your hand on a platform. Sometimes you can also use a wall, right? Especially in the beginning if we're having balance issues, our job is to give you an assist, and this right here is my spotter. This is my this is my primary spotter, which is the platform that I'm placing his hand on. From there, we extend the leg up and down. Keep your head up and straight, and then you do about 10 of those exercises. When it goes down, it goes right back. And what you'll feel as you do those exercises, you'll feel the opposite glute start to contract. And this is this is a very simple movement that you can do right there at home. It's going to get you nice and tight, but it's also going to help create that balance feel based on what you're looking for. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. What else we got? All right, another thing that you can do, especially, and if you don't want to get on the floor, that's fine. But what you do here, Rance, you can, you can put your elbow down here on a platform. All right, we'll bring the right knee up. Now, what you want to do when, when Lance raises his knee up, as you notice, I'm, having it, I'm bringing it all the way under him so I'm contracting the core. So once I contract the core, I extend the leg out to contract the hamstring and the glute. And then I bring it right back under, right back out, right back under, right back out. And you notice, <coughs> Rance dropped this leg yeah, yeah. there, right? That's because earlier to the to the that carryover exercise, this is what I call the carryover exercise, I went ahead and started firing that glute off. So he noticed when he got on that one leg, he could feel that burn. <laughs> So now, the body's one system, right? <laughs> now, when you're doing that, do you tighten the core or yeah. do you just let it? Yes, that's a very good question. You definitely want to squeeze the core and release it. And the reason why is you want to establish a consistent contraction in the middle part of your body. The core is very important because why? That's where all your vital organs are. And therefore, to attack that fat in there, we want to make sure we kind of intensify the area to release it as much as we can. So this is a way to get at the core without getting on the floor with sit-ups and crunches? Ah, I like that. Marketing. 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 <laughs> that's, why, that's why he's doing <laughs> So I know you've got a bunch of stuff coming up throughout the year. Can you talk about it now? Or are we going to hold it and we'll just have to meet up in the future? Yeah, yeah, we can talk about it. Um, and when you, well, as far as events are concerned, you know, we always do events that level up. You know, I have my... Uh, my event that's coming up uh, next Friday. Yeah, we won't. That's yeah, just we for us. That's for us. That. Let's talk about the us. business as aspect. As far as from a business, <laughs> as far as from a business standpoint, <laughs> it's PG people. It's right. fine. <laughs> as far as from a business standpoint, um, at Level Up Fitness, we're, this year we really do plan to get into the community to uh, to do a lot more events. Um, we actually this year we plan on creating a run team. Uh, you know, and, you know, people that do 5Ks and things of that nature, I'm actually looking at and I'm evaluating my internal clientele to develop my own run team. Um, that'll be led by an individual, good friend of mine here in the Jacksonville community. He runs like Forrest, you know, and, I, and I, me personally, I won't lead the run team. You I'm with know, you on that one. I'm more of the model car of the company. I'm not really the performance. <laughs> Brandon rolls up. He's that car. It's like they bring it up on a trailer. He's not driving right, to the. You don't want to drive this car. I, I'll just be sitting on. 
the trailer. Um, that, and then we're also, uh, we're going to get out to the community. I really want to get into some of the older living facilities this year. Um, I think that's uh, that's been one of my babies right there is really being able to get in the community to really help people that are not accustomed to getting the help. Um, I want to do that this year. We're also doing some stuff with the schools. Uh, I, we've done things with River City Science Academy, mm -hmm. helping their, their sports and their athletes out and really becoming a pillar in all different segments of the community so that we can actually create the level up as a legacy mm -hmm. more so than a brand per okay. se. I like it. You know? I like it. So. All right, and before we go, we have to shout out. So you're co-CEO, so we have to shout Josh out. Josh Evans. Josh Evans, he's the guy behind the scene. He makes me look really good. He is ama amazing at the marketing. Oh, my God. Uh, we're like salt and pepper, but when you put us together, we're more yin and yang. Uh, with it's kind of like me and Jana. Correct, correct. Tall, <laughs> go, uh, 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 and that's Josh and I. Uh, he's been a really good partner over the years. Our relationship has grown. Um, he played five years in the NFL, as you know, towards quadricep. I, I had the opportunity to rehab him, and that's where – our relationship really started to evolve and then we really started to talk about this brand of what we and, and what we're living in now you know and i just want to be i'm very thankful uh for my partner and, you know, and i wouldn't have it any other way the universe brings it around the way it's supposed to be so if you want to check up with brandon and his, i'm sorry i already brain donor and his squad at level up fitness uh, go to levelupfitnessjacks.com you can find them on social media channels level up fitness jacks and man all right, I'm gonna see you soon. Yes. It's yeah. I yeah. Promise. Yeah, and I, I can get this. But yeah, oh, Vaughn's coming too. It's out there. We're gonna bring Jana. We're all gonna be out they're there. All, they're all coming. <laughs> I'm out here recruiting. This is just, don't worry about what you're saying on TV. I'm recruiting. All right? I'm leveling Channel 4 up, River City. I'm out here. I'm spreading the love in the air. All right. Well, we will have more River City Plus coming very soon. So you guys stay plugged in, and uh, we'll have River City Live on every morning, 9 30. So uh, we'll see you next time for River City Plus and River City Live.